week, actually, was Cesar Chavez Day. We lost Cesar Chavez in 1993. Um, died somewhat young because his activism and uh, uh, hunger strikes and other kinds of things that he endured maybe shortened his life, but uh, he changed life for farm workers. Uh, and many would say the work goes on. Yeah, this is a song by Woody Guthrie that um, I have never played, but I, I love it. It's a mighty hard road that my poor hands have hold. My poor feet have traveled a long dusty road. Out of your dust bowl and westward we roll Your deserts will hot or hot And your mountains were cold I worked at your orchards of peaches and prunes I slept on the ground in the light of the moon On the edge of the city you'll see us and then It's something we might think about. I love that picture of them wearing masks. Plant more than you harvest, sun and water, earth and seeds. Plant more than you harvest, give the earth all. Give the earth all 
Cesar Chavez led the United Farm Workers and, um, you know, really brought farm workers' rights to the consciousness of kind of comfortable middle America. As a labor leader, he led marches, he called for boycotts, he went on several hunger strikes. And that's what I was saying, it's believed that, that um, he maybe died young because of, of the things he did, hunger strikes and so on. Some people are old enough to remember, we had a great boycott that started in uh, 1968, the grape boycott, and don't buy green grapes. It was, and boy, it, uh, it woke up the, the big farmers. Uh, they eventually settled. And that, that, that went on for years, but it eventually allowed um, workers to unionize. The Teamsters Union was not that supportive. The truckers, white truckers, you know, uh, were not that supportive of the farm workers. Uh, but um, he continued to be a dedicated union guy. Bobby Kennedy, running for president in 1968, was really affected by Cesar Chavez and, and uh, was really championing the cause of poor people and workers. Dolores Huerta will be 91 Saturday. She is alive and well. She and her, her mother moved to California. Her mother eventually started a restaurant that was a center for farm workers, kind of a community center kind of place. But she was um, not, not destitute, um, not wealthy, but um, okay. She studied violin and piano. She had dance lessons. She was an excellent student and she was also a Girl Scout, <laughs> and she won second place in the national essay contest, but she also experienced racism, and that changed her life, That, um, uh, or set her on a course, I think maybe she already was conscious of this, but she was accused of stealing another student's work, because the teacher was convinced that Chicana couldn't, wasn't capable of writing, writing these papers on her own. That was really segregated, at that point, there was pre police brutality that they uh, demonstrated against too, and of course, ludicrously low pay for uh, no minimum wage for farm workers. She started the Agricultural Workers Association in 1960, uh, and they got voter they did voter registration. Farm workers they got farm workers pensions. They got a Spanish language ballot. Uh, in California, they got Spanish language driver's license tests too. Then she met Cesar Chavez, 
in the early 60s, and they became a great working team. He was the dynamic speaker. She was the master organizer and really strong negotiator. Um, she fought with uh, the big, the 26 big grape growers. There was the grape strike, then there was the lettuce strike, we should remember, um, so into the 70s. Finally, in 1975, the Labor Relations Act allowed workers to unionize. Though anyone would say, anyone conscious of it would say the movement still has a long way to go. Continuing to be an activist it, uh, through the 80s, in 1988, in a demonstration, she was beaten by police, breaking six of her ribs, ruptur rupturing her spleen. And she came back from all of that. And as I said, she's, she's still with us. She's still outspoken. Through her work, farmers got health care. They got unemployment benefits. She raised consciousness about pesticides and uh, about sanitation for workers. No place, no, no porta potties, you know. But um, that's, that's, how we're, that's how we get our food for the price we pay for it. Where to receive the Ellis Island Medal of Freedom, the Eleanor Roosevelt Award, the, she's in the National Women's Hall of Fame. In 93, she lost her great friend and collaborator Cesar Chavez, who died too young. She received the Puffin Nation Prize, $100,000, with which she created the creative, it, well, it's the Creative Citizenship Award. She put that seed money into the Dolores Huerta Foundation that trains low-income communities in organizing, and she's still outspoken. There are many, of course, guest workers in this country uh, who don't get rights, but often they pay taxes only to then you know, have to go back home again. Many are legal, some are illegal. They come and um, they get deported. And still the giant corporations hire them, but giant corporations don't get busted for it. The workers get busted for it. Um, I'm going to keep the glasses on for this. This is another Woody Guthrie song. And the crops are rolling, and the peaches are running. The oranges are packed in the creosote dumps. They're flying you back to the Mexico border to pay all Goodbye to my one goodbye, Rosalina. Adios, it's a 
for visiting uh, PayPal is over there, paypal.me at jimscottmusic.com, or you can do Venmo, that's right there, or we have a button on our website for donations, and we much appreciate those, and I keep saying, you know, I'm not good at being a street musician or, you know, a, um, a, a beggar for, for money, uh, but uh, we, I want to keep these concerts going every week. And you might have noticed I keep trying to do some new songs every week. Uh, I thought maybe something about the water cycle would be good for this concert. I did this just recently, but I'm going to do it again. Uh, my song, Healing Waters, runs the, uh, the whole water cycle in the song. So we got some visuals to go with this.
coursing through the veins of the earth. that before you know, Emily had added a bunch of cool pictures to it <laughs> some more pictures um, okay a little song of the spring where's that G and garden as orchestra breeze excites the branches with the sound of violins and rustles of percussion as the orchestra begins. The sun sends its platform like conductor with baton, awakening the players for the music must go on. Winter to spring, when summer to fall. administration we can heal from the last one with some stuff maybe domestic workers and farm workers could get covered by the minimum wage I think that would be a good idea so <laughs> Seeger lives right over there and uh, I 
thought of this song. I eventually got to play it for him. And, and I have a video somewhere of him kind of just chiming in. Blow the winds, blow gently homeward. <laughs>
filled with dreams as vast as starry space. So hurt and anger know no place. May truth be shared and wounds be healed, and joy for a living be revealed. Through every fate and circumstance, may hope lead weary steps to dance. Fears be turned with keen insight to wisdom for what's just and right. Where sorrow grows, compassion strong, and pains will pass before too long. May the bounds of our diversity serve our richer harmony. May courage hold your heart so true to smile on love when it smiles on. Sing awake the light, then softly serenade the stars, ever dancing circles in the night, ever dancing circles in the night, ever dancing circles in the night. Thank you very much. I don't know if you hear my dog Boomer is barking out there in the back. I better go get him before the neighbors uh, complain. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. And um, thank you for your donations with PayPal or, or Venmo or, or visit the website and, and all. Thanks for being here. We'll see you next week and love each other, get vaccinated. And be well. Thanks.